Hey guys, it's me again, the curious HVAC guy. So, you may notice I look a little bit different today, kind of like the guy on the uh, fish stick box. Or this fish stick box. Anyway, it's raining out here, so that's why. But I had a unique problem today that I don't see very often, so I figured I'd try to make a video and show some of the new guys a little bit of something. So, let me flip this around and show you what I'm looking at. All right, guys, this is what we're looking at. We got a Linux package unit, the humidity troll set up in it. There's our model serial number. I'm gonna take you on a ride over here real quick. It might get kind of noisy here in a second. I'm gonna open up the blower section and give you a quick peek at the reheat coil here. Now it might be kind of hard to pick up. There is of course our blower assembly. Over here, this coil right here that you see that kind of ends right at the bottom here where I'm pointing at, that is your reheat coil. That is just for dehumidification purposes. Now inside this unit there is a nice handy little refrigeration schematic that kind of shows how the refrigerant is routed in order to control the humidity. It's, it's just basic capacity control. Nothing crazy. But it's, it's a very good diagram. I'm very pleased with Linux right now. So, let me throw this back on here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, oh, we're gonna change, excuse me, can't talk. We're gonna change this humidity level. Now, in order to do this, we need to go and adjust a couple of dip switches here. This right here, this is our humidity control board. It's an option, it's a factory installed option. So the first thing we need to do is go to our ECTO dip switch, electronic control dip switch, turn that to the right, and then it'll display some of our ETC settings. Take this black button right here, you wanna hold it down for, I don't know, three to five seconds, then I'll change over to three, now we're looking for 4.25 because in our instruction manual, 4.25 is the control parameter for our humidity setting. It's pretty pretty easy to find in the instruction manual, page 77. So now I'm just doing little pushes, one little push and it'll adjust it. We need to get to 4.25, remember? Then once we get to 4.25, we can check to see what the humidity level is set for. The factory default is 60. Some people prefer 55. I like 60. Almost there. Now, once we get to 4.25, we just take the bottom dip switch, which is shift, turn that over, and it'll, it'll display the current setting, which is probably gonna be 50, and it's 50. So, we just adjust this up to 60, because we don't need 50% humidity. 60 is just fine. Put it up to 60. Then we push this shift over to the left to turn it off, and then that will save our 60% uh, setting. Turn it back on, and we should see 60% still in there. So to save it, turn that off. Turn our ECTO switch off. It'll revert back to its normal display. And as you can tell, our reheat cycle has now turned off. So there's our little reheat valve. It's got a little label on it. Um, I prefer I prefer the uh, refrigeration schematic that they have in the uh, in the manual here, which is now getting all wet because I left it out in the rain. But that's all right. So you can take a nice long look at that. But anyway, guys. That's all I got for you today. Take a look at my office on top of a PetSmart today.
All right, we'll see you on the next one.